Hi students, welcome to the second video module on Fourier series. In this video module, we'll discuss a few more problems based on Fourier series. For more practice problems, we'll do in this video module. Okay. So the first problem, uh, we can consider the function f of x equal to x square in the limit minus pi to plus pi. So mm, x square is an odd function or an even function. Let us check that one. So f of x is equal to x square. Let us try f of minus x. That is equal to minus x whole square. That is equal to x square itself. That is equal to f of x. So f of minus x equal to f of x. So that is an even function. So we already uh, learned that for an even function, b n the b coefficients are zero so only a zero and a n will be there now let us calculate a zero and a n so first a zero it is one by pi minus pi to plus pi function dx here the function is x square instead of writing minus uh, pi to pi we can uh, change the limit to zero to pi by adding two here so this become two divided by pi 0 to pi x square dx. So a0 equal to 2 divided by pi. What is the integral of x square? It is x cube divided by 3, 0 to pi. That is 2 divided by pi 3. Now substitute the limits. The upper limit is pi. Therefore, x to the power 3. So pi to the power 3 minus 0. So 2 pi to the power 3 divided by 3 pi that will be 2 pi square divided by 3 okay we a0 value a0 is uh, 2 pi square by 3 okay now we a n in the values so for a n we know the equation in the equation a n is the 1 by pi minus pi to plus pi x square cos function times cos in x dx here the function is x square would x square on a function of x square into cos n x dx okay uh, that is 2 by pi integral x square cos n v into we would a product rule on a u into v and the dd and first function into integral of second cos n x into the integral sin n x by n minus integral of differential of first x square the differential is 2x into integral of second that is cos uh, cos n x into the sin n x divided by n but we product rule apply to the first term. You can see that here. First function is the first term. The second term is the integrate term. The integral of 2 is the We can take the 2 and the n outside. 2 and the n outside. The x sin x. Then integrate the first function into the integral of second. Sin n x into the minus cos n x divided by n minus integral of differential of first x in the differential one on a in the integral of second the sine nx in the other minus cos nx by n in a limit to girl substitute okay if the integral uh, cos nx we know where than the other than the area that will be sine nx divided by n upper n square where for the end of the iron square which are the down with n and n square n cube by two are it otherwise first to time now is another one limit to substitute to jay sine pi in order zero on a minus lower limit is zero substitute when you substitute zero here that also becomes zero first upper limit is pi so sine zero i put no? lower limit is zero so x square zero no? so totally this term will be zero now the remaining two terms so there is uh, 2x divided by n and n so n square then minus and minus it becomes plus cos n x minus there is minus and minus plus but already there is another minus uh, the red color minus here so there is one minus here and there is another minus here. So it will become minus total. Then 2 divided by n times n square. So this becomes 2 n cube. Here there is an n. When you integrate that, there is an integration. So when you integrate that, it will become n square. Another n is there outside. So that is why n cube here. Within the limit 0 to pi. Now substitute the limits. When you plug in the limits, the last term will become 0 because sine n pi is 0. So that also gone. So only this cos n pi term remains and we know that cos n pi is minus 1 raised to n divided by n square and 2 and 2 is 4 
this pi cancels here. So this is the a n value 4 divided by n square minus 1 raised to n. And already we uh, noticed that b n is 0 as the given function is an even function. Now let us substitute these values on the Fourier series equation. We will get uh, f of x equal to what is the equation? It is f of x equal to a0 divided by 2 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity function times cos nx. a0 we already calculated. It is pi square divided by 2 pi square by 3. So when you substitute that here, it becomes pi square divided by 3. Then bn, I'm sorry, an cos nx. An is 4 divided by n square minus 1 raised to n cos nx. So this is the Fourier series expansion. If you want, you can further continue with uh, uh, n values. n equal to 1, you will get this one. n equal to 2, n equal to 3. So, so this is the uh, expansion of uh, f of x equal to x square in terms of uh, sines and cosines. Or we can say in terms of cosines here. It's a Fourier series expansion of x square. Now, let us evaluate another function, f of x equal to cos x, the Fourier expansion of cos x. So, first of all, we have to check whether cos x is an even function or an odd function. Now, cos x is an odd function or an even function, check again at x in the negative substitute is the cos of minus x is cos x itself. f of minus x equal to f of x in the way, this is an even function. Anna. So, when you plug in minus x, minus value for cos of minus x, you will get cos x itself. So, therefore, this is an even function. And we know that for even function, there is no B coefficients. B coefficients are 0. Okay. Now, we have to find A0. How do you find A0? Actually, A0 is equal to 1 divided by pi minus pi to pi fx dx. But we can change the integral to 2 times 0 to pi fx dx. And, and mod cos has in, two, in different intervals, mod cos has different values. It has value cos x between the limit 0 and pi by 2. It has value negative between pi by 2 and pi. Cos uh, 0 is 90 where positive values are. 90 180 were negative values. So that is why limit integration limited and I split So 2 by pi, 0 to pi by 2 function dx plus 0 pi by 2 to pi function dx. So 0 to pi by 2 is a function cos x on pi by 2 to pi is a function minus cos x on. Okay. Now um, integral of cos x it is sin x. Again, it's here also cos x sin x. We, then we substitute the limits. Sin pi by 2 is 1. Sin 0 is 0. So we got this answer. So 2 times 2. That is 4 divided by pi. So a0 is a value of 4 by pi. This is a n. This is a n. 2 by pi, 0 to pi, fx cos nx dx. fx in a random value substitute into 0 to pi by 2 in the limit. Uh, cos x um, pi by 2 to pi in the, in the limit uh, minus cos x um, substitute here. So now you can see this is equivalent to cos a cos b. So 2 cos a cos b is equal to cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. 2 cos a cos b equal to cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. E trigonometric identity but 2 and 1 by 2 so you can see 1 by 2 here then this is cos a plus b x plus n x is a plus b and this is cos a minus b dx then next term there is a minus here this minus then again same cos a cos b so uh, cos a plus b plus cos a minus b continuing that by plugging the in the, or uh, performing the integration, the 1 by 2 is a common factor, so the 1 by 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. Cos 1 plus nx, integrally sin 1 plus nx divided by 1 plus n. Cos 1 minus nx, it is sin 1 minus nx divided by 1 minus n. Uh, integral 0 to pi by 2 minus 
साइन वन प्लस एन एक्स डिवाइड बाय वन प्लस एन प्लस साइन वन एन वन माइनस एन एक्स डिवाइड बाय वन माइनस एन विद इन द लिमिट्स पाई बाय टू एन पाई नाउ अब सब्स्टिट्यूट द लिमिट्स फर्स्ट लिमिट पाई सो दिस इज साइन वन प्लस एन पाई बाय टू बाय वन प्लस एन then sin 1 minus n pi by 2 by 1 minus n. oh this is plus actually okay then minus lower limit when you substitute lower limit this becomes sin 0 and sin 0 the answer is 0 so no need to write that then minus the next term again sin 1 plus n pi by 2 because no need to substitute the upper limit here when you substitute the upper limit sin pi is 0 that is why we are substituting the, only the lower limit pi by 2 so sin 1 plus n pi by 2 plus Sin one minus n pi by two divided by one minus n. Okay. Now this is you can see you can expand this. What is this actually? This is sin uh, multiplied into the bracket sin pi by two plus n pi by two. What is sin ninety plus theta? Discuss theta. So that's that's the same. Sin 90 plus theta is cos theta. So sin pi by 2 plus n pi by 2 is sin uh, cos n pi by 2. So we got cos n pi by 2. And similarly, sin 90 minus theta also cos n pi by 2. So all these terms we can replace with 1 by pi is there. Then instead of sin 1 plus n pi by 2, you can write cos n pi by 2. Uh, so all the terms replace with the cos n pi by 2. Cos n pi by 2. Now cos n pi by 2 is a common factor. And now we can write it. Cos n pi by 2. Now in the bracket, we can write it. Divided by pi. Then one by n plus one, one by n plus one, so two by one plus n. As well as two by one minus n. Then you take the LCM of this, so you'll get cos n pi by two divided by pi. When you're taking the LCM and the solving, you'll get four divided by one square minus n square. So a n equal to cos n pi by two by pi into four divided by one minus n square. Okay. Where n is equal to one, two, three, etc. Zero we already calculated. Now let us try with one. There is a problem with n uh, one. When you plug in the value one here, it becomes one square minus one square. That will be zero. So something divided by zero will give infinity. So that is not uh, uh, correct. That will not uh, uh, be possible to have a, a division with a zero in this case to give an infinite value. So we have to write this is correct except. For n equal to one, okay. So for n equal to one, uh, this equation or this answer that we got is not correct. So let us try to find the value of a when n equal to one. So by putting n equal to one in the first equation that we got for a n, so it becomes a one equal to two by pi zero to pi by two cos square cos. It is actually cos x. Cos n x. This was that where we used to call cos a, cos b terms. Here, when you substitute n equal to one, this become cos x into cos x. That is why it is not cos square x. And the next one is minus cos x, cos n x. That also will become minus cos square x. Okay. Now cos x we have to integrate. So for that, we are converting that into linear power. So one plus cos two x by two. Cos square x is equal to one plus cos two x by two. And cos again the same thing. Okay. Now expanding and finding the integrals. The first one is uh, okay. There is a two here. You can cancel with all this. Two can be taken outside and cancel. So integral one dx. That is the x. Then integral cos two x. It is sine two x by two. Again one dx is x and cos two x is sine two x by two. Now substitute the limits. When you substitute the limits pi by two uh, here and sine pi by two. Times two pi by two. That is pi sine pi is zero. Minus lower limit. When you plug in zero, you'll get both as zero, so it will go. And the second term, you have to substitute uh, pi first. Then uh, pi by two, it is zero. Sine two pi by two means two into pi by two. Two cancel. Sine pi is zero. So that is why this term. Hmm? Again, uh, when you substitute pi by two instead of x, pi by two here. Then two times pi by two. That answer also you will get zero here. Then solving one by pi, pi by two minus pi plus pi by two, you will get zero. So a one is zero. Okay. Now the Fourier series expansion f of x equal to a zero divided by two 
sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x. This is what is a 0? It is 4 divided by pi. Divided by 2 is 2 by pi. Plus the second term, I'm going to split this again because for n equal to 1, we have another value. So that is why a1 cos x, the next is a2 cos 2x, a3 cos 3x, etc. So we separated this limit from n equal to 2. And this first this term, a1, that is 0. So remove. Now what is, re what is remaining is f of x equal to 2 by pi sigma n equal to 2 to infinity. Substitute the value of a n. What is a n? 4 by pi cos n pi by 2 divided by 1 minus n square. And then this goes nx. So this is the Fourier series expansion of cos x. So here we did two examples of uh, performing Fourier series or developing uh, the Fourier series of two functions. Uh, you may find uh, more uh, problems of similar kind in mathematical physics by B. D. Gupta or by G. B. Afton. So try to find questions and. Uh, you may solve that. If you have any doubt uh, to how to solve any of those problems, uh, you can uh, send message to me. Okay, students, I hope these questions are the method to solve uh, or method to expand the expressions in terms of Fourier series is clear. Okay, students, thank you. Bye.